as well, just for backup. So I want you to just close your eyes and just start breathing first. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. For those who are new, breathing is an important part of activating body, soul, and spirit to experience the spirit realm. As you breathe in, I want you to imagine Yahweh, Jesus standing there with you, and you are breathing in the scroll and the mandate for today's ascension into your spirit, and you breathe out. I just want you to do that a couple of times. Just feel your spirit calming down, becoming more aware of the spirit realm. As you breathe, I want you to start as you're breathing in, just feel the awareness of your oneness and union within Yeshua. So picture in your mind when you breathe in, you see him move into you and you breathe out. Breathe in, into you, out. So it's sort of like the movement of Jesus is like a heartbeat into yours. Focus on the presence of Jesus and his awareness starting to expand into your spirit. So if I can picture, a, for instance, a balloon that you've swallowed and that balloon fills with air and it's expanding within your body. Create that awareness of Jesus' presence expanding within your spirit. As his presence is expanding in your spirit, creating that awareness, your body is starting to float. And you can start to feel the weightlessness of being in the spirit and the physical realm starting to disappear.
as you're starting to drift, see yourself move into the awareness of the heavenly realms. As you move up, experience that you're going through circles. So you're going through layer upon layer or realm upon realm as Jesus is just lifting you up and taking you in heavenly realms. Just continue to go where Jesus is lifting you up. Just continue going. I want you to start sensing, feel, see Jesus ascending you to a mountain. And as you get to this mountain, he is leading you to an entrance into this mountain. As you go into this entrance, you step into that mountain and the environment completely changes. It's like you're in a new dimension. So you're not seeing rock and darkness. You're just seeing something completely different as if you've stepped into another world. In that place, be aware of what is alive there. Animals that you've never seen before, heavenly hosts that you've never experienced before, plants that you've never known existed. So as you are in that place, just take a moment and soak up and look around as to what you see and what Jesus is showing you.
be aware that your spirit body also changed. That you are clothed in an ascension body ready for engaging in that realm. Be aware of different feelings going through your body, different sensations, as your soul is translating from the spirit to your body the experience. I want you to move in deeper into this realm. It's a realm within the mountain. Now, just like Moses, when he went after the sheep that was lost and came across the burning bush, I want you to move deeper into this realm and start to identify a tree that is on fire. But that on fire is not traditional fire like we know it. It's a burning quantum realm flame, if I can put it that way. So... Put your awareness and your imagination in a direction of fire that you've never seen that way before. And move towards that burning tree. And as you move closer to that burning tree, be aware of the holiness and the reverence and the fear that you are starting to sense as you approach this burning tree. Be aware of what's alive in the spirit around this tree. As we move towards this place, just like Yahweh told Moses to take his shoes off, because where he is is holy ground. Now we know everywhere we are is holy. 
but the reverence of what you're experiencing is pushing you downwards to bow before Yahweh. And as you bow in front of this burning tree, I want you to hear the voice of Yahweh coming out from this burning bush tree. And hear him say to you, I am who I am. When he speaks it, allow that frequency that is released from his voice to penetrate your spirit. Breathe it in as he speaks. Allow it to echo into your spirit. And it's like a waves of frequency being released from the fire into your spirit. And just soak it up. Just breathe it in. As you breathe it in and soak it up, you're feeling you are drawing closer and closer to this fire. Start to feel like a magnet. The presence within the fire is drawing your spirit closer in. As you are drawn into this fire, you can hear, I am who I am, become louder, more powerful, and just continue to hear that phrase, I am who I am, as you move closer towards the fire. As you are getting close to that fire, feel the heat of it. Feel the presence burning. And as you get to the fire, start breathing in that fire into your spirit. Start to see it move through the pores of your skin as you breathe in and it moves out from your body. And experience how the fire just completely consumes you as you are continue to be drawn into the fire.
Okay, we want to move completely into that fire. The reason we can go into that fire is because of the body and the blood of Jesus, because of the cross. We can, with unveiled faces, come boldly to the throne of Yahweh. As you move into that fire, I want you to experience like a portal opening up and you move into a realm that is so intense, you're so aware of the fear of the Lord in this place. you to come face to face with the voice when Moses came face to face with Yahweh it is breath unto breath so I want you to see Yahweh in front of you but I want you to see him as a frequency as a voice that I am who I am just reverberates within that environment and in that realm. In that place where you are, Yahweh wants to align your spirit and the gate within your spirit to experience the realms and the dimensions of I am who I am in and through you. You are the bet, you are the temple, and Yahweh is revealing a next level and room of ascending in your place within him to release that frequency through you as the gate, as the temple. So it's very open-ended. I want you to, as you are in this space, to spend some time there and allow Yahweh to do what it is he is busy doing in your spirit, to experience where he's taking you, or what he wants to show you, what he wants to tell you, allowing him to recalibrate, align, and open the gates up of that fear of the Lord and I am who I am in you.
know this is a new place of engagement for you. But just continue to expand your spirit and allow Yahweh to continue. I am who I am in and through you and show you. Experience that your spirit is, I want to say, unraveling. That the intensity of that fear and the reverence of Yahweh, I want to say, is completely getting your spirit undone.
Charlie, you're muted. So where you're in this realm, I want you to see Yahweh opening up windows. So as you are positioned in I am who I am, he's opening up windows so that you can see from that dimension into the world. And I want you to see what is he showing you? It could be about your family. It could be any aspect of the world. But just a worldview from being positioned from within I am who I am into the outside. Be aware of where you are with that fear and reverence. It multiplies the experience of his love. So what Yahweh is basically doing is enabling you to see an experience by being positioned within I am who I am. Continue to be aware of that presence that consumes you, consumes and expands within you.
Okay, what I want you to do from here is just want you to breathe in and out. And as you breathe in and out, feel the whole burning sensation, the burning bush tree experience move towards the center of your spirit. Just experience it progressively as it goes into your spirit. I don't want you to leave that place. I don't want you to leave that mountain. All those windows that Yahweh was showing you, feel them coming closer to your spirit and shrinking into your spirit. So the reality of your spirit as the microcosm of the macrocosm, you see everything contracting and being embedded in your spirit. And lastly, I just want you to picture the Hebrew letter bet in front of you. And in the middle of bed is a door, portal, gateway. And when you look through that portal, you can see where you are sitting now. And I want you just to move through that portal. And you are back where you are positioned right now. And I want you to open your eyes. The purpose of that engagement was that place of I am who I am is the place of limitless, boundaryless. It is that space of there's nothing that can describe him. And it is from that place of nothingness that God created. And you as a bet, being positioned in that place of nothingness, give expression and release creation. So you are the one positioned right there so that nothingness and that place of I am who I am finds its expression in and through you and creation is being released. So if you think about, we're now in Rosh Hashanah, and it's a very, very exciting year, because um, in the Jewish calendar, it's the year 5782, and 80 is the Hebrew letter Pei, which means mouth and what we speak, and 2 is the Hebrew letter Bet. So though we're in the decade of Pei, we are in the year of bet. So it means that this is the year that you are able to take from nothingness and speak it out into creation to bring forth for the manifestation of what's going to happen for the rest of the decade of pay. So this year is extremely important for you regarding the secret place, being positioned in his love and aligning yourself with heartbeats from Yahweh that you've never experienced before. Um, on Sunday, I mentioned that um, there's no Hebrew letter that starts with bet and pay together or pay and bet. So in other words, that what Yahweh is wanting you to release into your circumstances and into this year are stuff that's never existed. And as to raise your expectation to that you are in that place to bring into existence things that don't exist. And this is such an exciting place 
being in Yahweh because it means you have all the resources to put those things together and to release it into the spirit realm. So more than ever, this is an exciting time of being a co-creator with Jesus and governing into the spirit realm. So I want to give some opportunity for, for anybody who would like to share and just to open up. There we go. Yes, Tohu and Bohu. Yeah, that sounds familiar, hey, Norma? I have to say I was there, and it, it was just such a powerful, profound time. that, And I was picturing these living letters. I've done the Hebrew course with you that was just so profound. And it's not like I remember or memorized anything, but it's all in my spirit. And these words were coming out. It was almost like God was speaking in tongues through into my spirit. I was like, what does that mean? What is, I mean, I, I was, it was such a profound place, each step of the journey going into him. And what, what he showed me is that this place was actually deep inside his heart. And, um, and that he had everything that he has put in me already created, that we created it together before time. And that he showed me, you know, that Jesus, Yeshua is the, the tree of life. He's the burning fire. And the, the colors I was seeing were just so profound. It was amazing. But this place of creation, he said that, you know, it was like he also showed me through the windows his his own emotions and that I could go to this place to get anything I wanted for any need, for any person I was ministering to, including for myself. And that it was this place that I'll always be in, that I never have to leave. I mean, we came out, but, you know, into the human realm, but it's like, Wow. I can't wait to hear other people share because I'll probably be going, yeah, me too. I experienced that because it was, I can't even put into words what I experienced, but thank you. Thank you for taking us to the place of Tohu, Bohu with the, the, the pay and the bet, because I think, uh, or bait, whatever, however you say it, because I think that that's some of what I saw, heard, and I, he took me into the realm of the impossible also, because I've been feeling, thinking that, oh, I, you know, today's my birthday. I'm 71. Things just that haven't happened. Happy that's, birthday. <laughs> thank you. That it's just not going to happen. But that I said to the Lord, but it's my birthday. I want the impossible. And it's like he brought me into this almost seemingly impossible realm that thank you. You let us into. So thank you for my birthday present today, Charles. Thank you, Lord. Fantastic, Norma. Thank you for sharing. And happy birthday. How, yeah, how, it's actually so profound that your birthday falls in Rosh Hashanah. You know? Why? So it is definitely something to think or to pray into. Um, the, there's lots of realms opening up over your birthday. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Annie, you want to shame? Yes. Hi. Thank you. Um, I, I might sh I might share twice, but I'm just going to talk about pay. So, I love to go to the beach or just to the shoreline wherever I am. It's a a favorite place, and I found this very interesting rock because I love shoreline treasures and the rock is like the letter pay and I want to show the rock because when I, I found it I, I liked it but it is shaped like the Hebrew letter pay and so I, I said you know um, I'll take it home with me as a reminder of the Hebrew letter pay <laughs> and I will wait for you to speak to me further about the rock and the letter and so it was neat that you talked about um this year and the letter pay and, and its significance and i think what i got from that was that there's a doorway and there's the letter pay and that we speak into that 
we speak at that threshold, we speak at that door um, and, and the, our voice, our words, the frequency of pay and speaking forth goes through the door in order to accomplish what it needs to, or the door itself is the realm in where we speak. It, it, something along that line. I, I, I found myself thinking along those lines. So can I just show and tell the, uh, the rock? <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I have to try and figure this out. Here we go. Wow. Great. Thank you for showing us. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Jeremy. Yes. Uh, hi. So I, I, I'm really excited about uh, journey, and I'm glad uh, to be part of uh, this group. So when we were asked to enter the mountain, the door opened and I entered. So I found myself in a very beautiful, amazing, colorful landscape, all sorts of um, plants, and there was a waterfall. As I kept, you know, as I engaged that realm, I found out that my spirit man, the body, my body took the colors of all the plants that were there. I was like, I'm still seeing it now. My entire spirit man took up the colors of all the plants. Very colorful colors, I don't even know. You know wonderful colors. And as we kept pressing in, you know, the, it was, I, I, it brought me to the place to, uh, you know, when you talk about co-creation, understanding that Yahweh has made us co-creators, that we are the embodiment of his creation. You know, so it was so beautiful. And uh, I, I can still see my body that way um, until we now entered into the realm of uh, where the voice was vibrating, I am, and I am. And, but my, my, my emphasis is on the embodiment of creation, you know. And yes. I, I believe from that position, we co create that which we have embodied in Him. Thank you. Wonderful. Amazing encounter. Thank you for sharing, Jeremy. Leslie. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry, my video is not available today. Um, blessed to be with you all, as always. Um, I had a very different experience today. I had a kind of um, an inverted, uh, you know, I, I typically can ascend very quickly and, and go into the spirit realms. And today it was, I, it felt like I descended into my body and it's interesting that jeremy used the word embodiment um because what i what i experienced was that um i just started weeping and weeping and weeping and and what i realized was that um uh that when i i won't speak for we i'll speak for i but yahweh's fire and presence and truth that living spirit is always burning inside of me and yet my fears and my 
false beliefs and my inadequacy and my wounds keep me away from total, um, total communion, total submersion, total submission to that. And what I experienced was that feeling that incredible fire within me, but keeping it at a distance or trying to, that was the cause of pain and fear and anxiety and trauma. And, um, you know, because, because if I resist being consumed by him, it feels uh, terrifying, like, ah, something's trying to get me and I don't know what it is and ah, and I can't control it and oh, help, help, help. And so it was, it was your leadership that kept turning me back to, to Yeshua and, and my love, his love for me that allowed me to surrender into the, into the completely surrender and be consumed completely consumed by the fire and and then it was like all of you know all everything all of the all of the chaff is burnt away all of the fears are burnt away everything was burnt away and I was able just to stay right and it really was like in my in my actual my physical heart of my body it wasn't up in in the ascended realms and so that was just a just a uh, like a profound experience and um and a lot of uh you know i feel conviction and and some repentance that of all the ways i've fought i've fought surrendering <laughs> um so yeah pretty pretty vulnerable and wide open right now and 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 humbled and yeah and, and grateful and um Hoping I can remember this. I'm gonna to have to jot notes later so so I can continue to surrender. Continue to surrender. Yes. Thank you. That's great, Leslie. You know, um often when we moving into something new in, in Yahweh, it is I want to say normal to have that inadequacy. And sometimes, you know, our iniquities or our shortcomings coming to the fore, you know, because it's just the intensity of that realm that we have in Yahweh. But at the same time, what happens is that the blood reminds us who we are in him. And then your spirit then switches into where we are positioned in the blood, which is what happened with you. So great. Thank you for sharing that, Leslie. Thank you, Cheryl. Deanne. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> so while we were uh, engaging, I was having a Martha moment. Trying, I was like multitasking and cooking. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to listen, but I have to cook this food, get it on the table, and... Uh, as I was going about the cooking and I was listening to you, Charles, I, you mentioned the mountain. Well, first of all, what I saw was uh, uh, the scene. It was, first of all, it was like a meadow that turned into a desert. And then he took me to this oasis. And then I got up and started doing some more cooking <laughs> and sat back down, tried to link in again. And then what I saw, what I heard was robes of righteousness. I said, okay, that's really great. I thought, and I looked, everybody was like deep in, you know, meditation, got up again, stirred the pot, come back. And then when we got to the mountain, um, when you mentioned the portal to enter in, I saw the letter Shin. So I went through the center of Shin into the fiery place and then you took me into this small space where I couldn't even stand it was just little so it was like a space of surrender I said Lord I can't do anything I can't even move in this space so I said all, the, all there is to do is surrender and then um I got up again started cooking, doing more cooking sat back down and then I sat down and you started, people started showing about the father's heart, the heart, and I'd been meditating on the father's heart. 
And um, then he said, look at the letter, look up the letter Shin. So I looked at the letter Shin and then this is what he showed me. I don't know if you can see, it's the heart. Oh, there we go. When you cut the heart, oh. is you get the letter Shin. So beautiful. Isn't that amazing? So. No, I just said, wow, Lord, that is so amazing. That was so gracious. That was so generous of you. You know, I was just amazing. Who would have thought in the heart there's the Shin? Awesome stuff, there. It's awesome the way he's designed us to be a reflection of who he is. I had no clue, none whatsoever. And uh, Shin, it says the presence of God is in the heart. Amazing. So just wanted to share. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Thank you for sharing some awesome stuff there. Annie, you want to share? Yes, I do. When um, I saw Jesus um, at the very beginning, when you were leading us, um, uh, he immediately uh, caused me to pay attention to my feet. And he said, um, in, he invited me to go off, at, like on this adventure, which you led us into. Um, so it started with my feet. He said, as we proceed, I want you to pay close attention to the placement of your feet. So you led us through and uh, quite a few times, my feet kept coming up. It was just always highlighted and specifically the placement and how you place your feet. But my feet and the placement were also through it, through this engagement um, associated to joy associated to a dance and it was always with the lord it was always with jesus so i um i encountered the tree and um and the burning bush but it was funny it was happening with me before you even spoke it out in the engagement so i felt it was kind of felt awkward because I'm like, am I ahead? Am I behind? Am I on track? Am I following? I'm lost, Lord. And it's like the whole time I never really was. I guess it was just with him a few steps ahead or either way, I was in sync with him. So I, when you said the tree, I, he showed me that I was a tree and I, and he was the tree and he is the great I am and he's in the tree, but I was this burning flaming tree. And when you said fire, it wasn't a normal fire. It was, it was the, the heat waves was the actual fire. And, and these waves, they were like billowing, but they were just like air waves and they were consuming me and I was engulfed in those. And um, yeah. And I, and when you said the tree, uh, and the, the great I am, he manifested himself as the lion. So it was just this glorious head of a lion in all its glory, <laughs> in the midst of this billowing white wind, which was actually moving, but it was a radiating uh, fire, um, but it was not red in color. And let's see here. Then you talked about the door, uh, no, not the door, the window. Um, and so when I got a sense of the window and I, um, in that realm, but then I'm supposed to get the perspective from there and look at the earth, I, uh, saw myself in the earth, like in a position more or less here, like with the knowing of, of a position, I saw the crown and um, I saw myself um, in the 
resonance, the after effect, the resonance still all over me as I was standing with um, a confidence and a knowing, um, an assurance, I was changed. I was, I was like, in the natural, I'm like, I, I know you're me, but <laughs> I don't know that side. Like, I don't know that version of me, but I've been with him and something changed. Now I was like, okay, so here I'm, I'm, I'm there looking at this perspective on the earth, but I don't see anything other than me standing in this new version of me. Um, and a knowing that that was all that I was really meant to see because it's me standing in that version. It's me being that version. It's, it's that version that is upon the earth. You see, like as it is in heaven, no, as it is on earth, uh, so... I think you all know what I'm trying to say <laughs> on earth as it already is in heaven. So that was it. I was just seeing what took place in heaven, right? So I'm wearing that frequency, that resonance, that I am, that bill billowing, white, clear, fiery, wind all over me and I am that I am the I am we are one and I am here on earth but I saw it through the window and I received the perspective there but I'm wearing and walking it and being it here so I hope that makes sense <laughs> and that's what I want that's great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thanks and thanks for sharing any Oh, you're very welcome. So I'm looking forward to further understanding about the dance and the feet. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, okay. Annie. You're Maria, welcome. you're up next. Maria. Oh, hi there, everybody. I'm very drunk and lying down, and I want to tell the lady who went before me that makes absolute sense. And um, what I saw us and saw me as the burning bush was a fire of neurons, our neurons, our neuro uh, system of neurons on fire, which caused the frequency, which caused the, the, the frequency and the smoke or the, the radiation of this electrical fire. So I was the bush in God and him in me. And it is the big I am in the little I am. And as she said, there's nothing to do because we are changed as we are in him, in the fire. We are the burning ones. We burn first and he burns the dross and everything that is not of him out of us. And then that which comes off us burns and impacts others. And uh, that was the bottom line of what I was experiencing. That's awesome, Maria. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I love it when you guys drink and get drunk. I just continue to consume that engagement when we go deeper. Thanks for sharing, Maria. Last person, anybody else that's still to share? Can I quickly go? <laughs> go for it, Marcelli. Thanks, Maria, for bringing that up <laughs> because it's exactly what I saw, just in a different perspective. And Shal, this actually is a continuation of what I sent you the other day. Mm. Um, but I'm going to put it in this way that, that using you as an example, what we are doing, should be doing, going to do. Um, what I saw today was I was immediately in my place of daisies again. Um, and just for some people that if you want to heighten your senses, wherever you are, start to feel like I was walking and I felt the daisies underneath my hands and the, the wetness of the, the, the rich green stems on my feet. And that just 
brings you to a place where you can see more clearly because you start feeling as well. But anyway, I was walking into the mountain. And as soon as I walked into the mountain, I stepped into a tunnel of gold. This tunnel was endless. I wasn't going anywhere. I knew that. So I just sat down. As soon as I sat down, the whole tunnel exploded. Like everything is just gone. And I was, and it, and it formed a, um, a universe of gold dust. And I could see the gold dust as a third perspective. And inside the gold dust, right in the middle, the nucleus was a absolute fierce burning energy ball of fire of energy. And then suddenly I became that energy ball. As I was sitting in the, as I was the energy ball, I could see it like a magnet with, with um, metal dust around you. What do you call that? Taurus was the, the, the dust came into me and out of me, into me and out of me. And I'm giving you the short vision. And suddenly I went with inside myself to see what's happening with inside myself. And I want you to understand that I'm talking from a perspective of I am. I'm the, I am in the creating process, if I can put it like that. I went inside myself and I saw the gold dust being purified like literally being purified into liquid gold and the blackness being scraped off. And I realized that is us. Every time, every day is like a refining process. And every day stuff gets scraped off, scraped off. And at the end of it, the, the liquid gold was poured into golden bars. And each golden bar was placed in separate heaps and I saw around me a lot of separate heaps and every separate heap resembled a country and I realized that there was golden bars being placed into every country refined just so that the process can start again what I got out of that is that my responsibility as well is to help that refining process with the people around me as well so what, and if you go back to what I told you last time through what is happening is a refining process of information. So yeah, that, that's where the gold and the Maria, the, the, the refining from my side comes in. But we need to be aware that what we are, what purity we come from. Yeah. That's it. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Marcel. Some deep stuff there. Well, guys, that's the end of our engagement. And it was just super awesome to have everyone here and that we can just go deeper into what Jesus is showing us. And it's just super exciting, you know. I just love it. I love you guys big time. You must have an awesome week. And I look forward to the next blog. And um, we're Saturday, two weeks, then our Ascension, uh, Ezekiel Matrix Ascension starts, which is going to be super awesome. So you're welcome to enroll to that. But have a lovely week and keep on ascending. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Guys. Keep on. Bye. Thank, Bye. You. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you, Bye. 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 Is it possible to post from the Facebook? <laughs> uh, to post what on Facebook? Um, somebody asked me to post the um the shin um piece on the Facebook. Yeah, go for it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Do it. It will be lovely. Bye. You're <laughs> 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 pips. <laughs>